You know, uh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. It, being the last one, it reminded me back in college when we all uh, went out hanging on the bar one night, and uh, a gentleman we didn't know invited us to go skydiving the next day. And we thought it was a good idea. It was only fifty dollars. And when we got on the airplane, they said, "Okay, which of you three wants to be the brave one?" And I said, "Okay, I'll be the brave one. I'll go first. And he says, "No." Brave one goes last. <laughs> and he, I got what he meant because the adrenaline was pumping from the time I got going. And, and you know, first guy gets a shoot, second guy gets a shoot, and I'm doing my math. I'm the last guy. But anyway, thank you again. Uh, I am an Air Force veteran. Back in 1975, I was 17 years old, and I hit the lottery twice. I was offered a full scholarship from the Air Force and the Navy to not only have uh, four years of any institution I could get admitted to, uh, but also a pilot slot at the far end. And as a 17 year old, big decisions, big decisions. I kind of figured at 17, I'd have a better chance getting dates at an Air Force base than on a boat with 5,000. But now I see how Stanley has done. And I, I have to rethink my 17 year old self this year. I am running in one of the flippable districts in this uh, state, in this country. And how many seats do we need in Congress to, to make it blue again? One. We need one seat, and my seat could be that seat. I am running against Anna Polina Luna, my campaign slogan, I'll own it, and the Luna seat. And we're moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. And, and it's a question of what is service to country and service to self? Everyone in here before me has spoken about doing what the right thing is at the right time, whether it's for mental illness or advocacy against drugs or standing up for the homeless. Uh, I told a few people earlier, my uncle came to this country in 1902 in a uh, fruit basket and he wound up being a Superior Court judge in New York and he's quoted in Bartlett's familiar quotations because when he had the first bums in the park case in the country, uh, he said his ruling was, this nation shall not discriminate against the great unwashed of this nation. A pretty, pretty, pretty proactive guy. I'm very proud of my association with him. And to think that, you know, they called them bums back in the day, but these are veterans. These are people that gave up their lives or the opportunity to serve to go ahead and do it. So we need to go ahead and make sure we do a better job with that for certain. And I'm from a district where there's nothing but photo ops for veterans, but no follow through. I've always been there for follow through. I've always stood up when the time has come. It's uh, after 9-11 as an air, airline pilot, Oh, go ahead. Uh, as an airline pilot after 9-11, I was one of the first volunteers to go out to the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in New Mexico and train to carry a uh, HK-40 subcompact with me to defend the aircraft and the operation. A gun is not a fashion statement. It can be a tool when used properly. And this is why I'm the right candidate to stand up against Anna Paulina Luna, whose idea, thank you, of weapons is to pose with them in a bikini on a motorcycle, waving them around like Yosemite Sam. That's not what we need. It's about stepping up when the time is right. I was mentor of the year in Pinellas County last year. I currently have 10 kids that I'm working with in uh, guardian McLeod positions in school mentoring positions, in take stock and children positions, because the need is there. And that is Democrats, that is what we do. We step up and we don't judge by color, race, religion, or affiliation. We look at the need and we fill the void because we have that driven into our DNA. I'm so happy to be here today. Last uh, week at this time, I was kind of channeling Walking Lawton Childs. Those of you remember him? Yeah. He walked across the state. I walked across my district, north to south, 30 miles in one day, from Tarpon Springs to St. Petersburg to raise awareness and to engage in conversation. And the best part, 25 miles in, feel a little bit draggled. A guy goes north as we're going south, and he screams at the three of us that were walking. He goes, "End the lunacy!" <laughs> and that was enough of a tonic to take us the last five miles. We had spring in our step; we didn't even know it was there. But I think about, during those long walks, you think about other people that have walked for other reasons. And you think about, at the end of my walk, I had a cold drink and some fruit to eat and things like this, and I'm thinking, you know, what was uh, Congressman Lewis looking at at the end of his walk when he faced the Edmund Pettus Bridge? What was my father looking at when he marched across Germany in 1944 and suffered from frostbite and PSD, TDSD until the day he died because he was in the trenches? suffering in the uh, the brutal conditions. 
So being out in the sun in Florida had its own hazards, but it gives us all an opportunity to reflect, look at ourselves, and wonder why we're doing this. I'm doing this because the people of Florida are better than the representation we have right now. Cool. The people of Florida deserve better representation, and we need a Congress that gets things done. There is currently a billion dollar shortfall in WIC. That means 162,000 children in Florida right here are going to bed hungry every night. And the insult to this is, given the opportunity to avail ourselves of food programs or infrastructure programs, we have turned it away at every opportunity on principle. It doesn't exist. They're an unprincipled group of people. We need to take Congress as the House of Representatives back to what its title says. We represent the people for what they care about, and what we care about is democracy. My name is Mark Weinkranz. Running for District 13, uh, really appreciate your support. It's time to end the hate, it's time to end the ignorance, and most importantly, time to end the lunacy. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.